Hey love bugs, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And um, if you feel like the video just gives you a good uplift and beautiful vibes that you would love to share with another, please go ahead. In case they can vibe with it just the same or even better. Um, so I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Twin Flame 101, hey Okas, be careful about the demonic doors. Keep those suckers padlocked. It is so true. You know, we're going through an intense turn of events where, you know, different planets are, you know, aligning with, you know, different parts of the uh, hemisphere, atmosphere, whatever you want to call it. Uh, frequency is like really peaking right now. So it is just like when God knows you well, you know, the, the, the devil tries to know you even better. So it's just like so many different things that you know you have conquered or different things that you are allowing yourself to heal on. Um, is trying to have you open the doors to demonic energy, you know, very dark energy. And it is just like, you know, if you're that type of person that is really lonely and you know you're tired of being by yourself, it will be certain things, so, you know, certain people will follow you um, on social media. And, you know in different kind of ways you know asking for friend requests liking pictures dropping little uh somewhat indirect and you know direct encrypted you know comments to make you you know guess certain things you know maybe they're interested or maybe this and this and that you have to be very careful with that especially you know that you have and I've, I've had to say it once before with me you know a while back or you know people that i've talked to be careful you know make sure you're thinking with your mind you know thinking with your mind and you know still when you're on a heart of healing you know because when your heart is still healing it, it can get caught up you know in that trap especially if you know you're just wanting a companionship or somebody to talk to hopefully it can lead to even more um there'll be different things that'll open that door to some energy because you know as soon as i said that got dog and chills <laughs> it's like these chills keep coming every time i say something like that um that things will come in and try to catch you slipping it, it could be people that um that you have known that you were really close and tight knit with or that you have a lot in common but things just kept clashing all the time truth was being seen in, in indirect ways that you weren't probably able to catch it and these are like blessings in disguise as well but you also you know universe allowed you to go through these things so you can be able to see you know um you know things is going against you in its true form you had to be able to hang with it for a while you had to be able to because it's not the person but it's the energy that is connected to that person and we're all going through intense changes right now so it's just like you know god like i've said a lot of times y'all hear me say especially if you've been with me for a while god and universe i mean god and god devil and universe runs all hand in hand you know, the universe will place certain things out there for you to have to learn, you have to grow from, you have to appreciate, you know, allow yourself to instill on what, what's taking place in your life. So when this encounter comes up again, you already know what how to respond to it. Because a lot of times we go through different things and we feel shame, guilt, embarrassment, resentment, and all these different things. That we, how we met these people, wish and never met those person, this person, and we wish we never got, you know, persuaded to get into this situation. You had to be able to go for, go to these different things. It could have been like you hanging with the wrong crowd and all of a sudden like say you could be in the mall with people and you got money you know but there's other people in there shoplifting and next thing you know you they can sit up here and say oh they use such and such and such to distract us you know while they were trying to buy stuff where these people over here boosting stuff and you wouldn't have had no idea about that but just for the fact that you hanging around with a crowd like that you already know it's shifty and you see the different things that they, you know, they're willing to do, you know, um, you end up getting caught up in a situation that had nothing to do with you. And you're just right clueless. And you can get mad about that situation. Yeah, it's a messed up situation. You, you, you can be guilt by association. Just be it by associating with stuff like that. And it's just like, how did this happen? You know, I had my money. I, you know, I wasn't in here stealing. I didn't even know what they were doing. I'm thought, thinking we all had money. And we're just going to the mall and going shopping and hanging. And they see, you know, that stuff happens. Or you can deal with a guy 
or a girl that seems like they're a perfect match. And then when they got you all up in deep where you could all caught up in their rapture and stuff like that, all of a sudden they went straight, you know, straight postal on you. And you had to be able to go through that. And, you know, those are the things that, you know, that is God's way of blessing you through those situations. I've been through those, uh, uh, you know, f you know, a few times. I don't want to say every relationship I've been through was very toxic like that because they weren't. I've had, you know, very wonderful, you know, relationships with different people, um, whether it was romantically or, you know, just casual, you know, just friends that I just hung out with. And I still treat them all just the same way. You know, it was hard for me to be able to do that. But when I got to my part of myself really going through that initial healing, I say, you know what? Yes, I've been in some very abusive situations where I didn't love myself or I allowed myself to be cowardly dehumanized. And I had to go get my strength and my power back. I had to snatch that mess so back, back like my life depended on it, which it actually did, you know. And just being able to look back at it now was just like I'm so grateful I went through those situations because it showed me how much love that I was really not giving myself, you know. And I say that a lot, but there's a lot of times we go through stuff like that and we try to really understand if you have a good heart, why would certain individuals do you like that? You have to understand. A lot of times they can, I don't know how they do it, but they can peg you out. Even before they even know you, there's something about you, they got, there's something about you, I got to snatch that soul. <laughs> you know, it's like a soul snatcher and it's just, they, they automatically know. And it's just like you, your heart can be your, your biggest downfall. You know, with empaths, there's a lot of times we attract different stuff like that. But. It's like, this is a part of you, and I was telling somebody the other day, a lot of times we wonder how we always attract narcissistic people, you know, uh, broken people, jaded people, and um, it, can, it can turn really ugly, because there's a lot of times you can meet somebody that is very jaded, broken, or whatever, and you end up being the biggest blessing in their life in a good way, or there's sometimes it can go totally opposite, but it's still something that, um, if you know, you can live to tell it, you know, uh, different things like this takes place. Uh, in your life that can really teach you on that level and it's just like God will allow these things to happen that first time but when it comes to the second and third time this is the devil working with you because you're like oh I don't put her in that or, or him in that encounter before let me see how if I flip the script and change the, the game around would they you know will they take notice on what I'm doing because I see what kind of potential they have I see what kind of mission that you know God has them for and this can't happen so it's just like you have to be very, very, very selective about what you choose to entertain, especially if you're a person that had to go, uh, you have SA, you know, X edition, you know, uh, you know, I got to be very careful about which words that I use on here. And then it's just like you, you find somebody who is in that same vibe. You know, on that, and it's just, you know, they're always telling us, be careful of the energy. You know, even if it's something casual, like, you you know, you're getting head education down there. You know, you can you can still catch that energy through that. People are like, Rosalind, you can still get it through condoms as well. Yes. You know, and a lot of times that is so much worse than, you, you know, you actually having to go to the clinic and get a penicillin shot for it. You know, and it, it's about that bad. You know, or you, at times, depending on, you know, how, how many body counts they got, it, it can be far worse. You know. So these are the different things that God's warning you about. You know, you got to be careful with the people that you bring in your life. You know, history is coming back repeat itself with different entities is coming in. You may um, get friend requests from people that you already know that cause issues in your life. You know, they're watching you. You know, every friend request you get is not our friend request. Sometimes there's surveillance cameras. I've had a lot of people that just come in my life and I'm just like, you think I don't know you're just coming in my life just to watch me? For what you want tips i can give you tips but i mean you, you're not going to be able to change what i got going on you're not going to be able to do that you know but it, it's just a lot of different things are are very the energies are very very confident in themselves and it's just at that point where i'm at in my life is like regardless on how much confidence how much black magic or whatever devil quotes you got on behind your back you can't over override what god got got going for me so you can go ahead and try whatever you want you know, you have to be that way. You know, don't get cocky with it, but you stay yourself protected. Be smart. You know, be very smart. You know, it's just like a lot of different things is taking place in your life where they're telling you to be very private. It doesn't matter if it's family, best friends, even your spouses. Certain things are just, when, especially if it's like not saying spouses is in any of them, but it's just the ones that you know that you're already dealing with a karmic cycle through that because it's very toxic, it's very draining, it's very this, it's very that. You have to keep your stuff to yourself. 
you know, very, you know, because it's just the fact is they, you know, they're there to teach you. And I had to learn that with all the stuff that I'm going through right now, it's here to teach me, even though at times they felt like it was breaking me at times or, you know, it was out to get me, you know, regardless of what was placed on my life and stuff like that. It was teaching me something about myself. It allowed me to know what power I instill in myself that God has placed there. You know, what kind of magic that I can work with, what, no matter if it's, you know, Wiccan, Pagan, you know, Wiccas or whatever, Voodoo priestesses, whatever we got, you know, on our background. It don't matter. Used to everybody instills that you 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 all have magic and power um, placed in you, and a lot of times you don't get to know that situation until you've been into a very very dangerous or tumultuous uh, encounter with yourself. And your you are your 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 position is very powerful. You have a powerful play position, and with these things taking place, it's just a lot of uh, energy is monitoring you right now on a high high sense and a lot of times you have to understand when you leveling up on that next level when you have cleared you have purged your understanding and accepting everything that took place in your life and you're grateful for these things no matter how about it happened you're allowing yourself to be grateful for that and that gives you more power within yourself because you're becoming strong with yourself you're trusting yourself intuitive intuition your higher self are highly aligned and for that to happen the devil is also aligning somebody else on you you know new level different devils and that's what we're dealing with right now you have to be really really careful because there are so many different things that's coming back just to try to play a new game on you you know it's like okay i didn't you know there's some people out there in the world that just really don't have nothing else better to do than come up and rip the heck out of your life like if they feel like they ain't did enough damage here they come back again to see if they can do it <laughs> do something 10 times worse and it's like that so you have to be make be able to make sure you keep those padlocks on it's like thank you but no thank you you know i go on my different accounts and i see people that i blocked and then you come back with another one i'm like if i blocked you the first time what makes you think i'm about to come in and begin this i'm like baby please go make it make sense <laughs> go go fix your life go find something to do and worry about what i got going on because you know universe got you it's like you already see the two steps that you 10 steps ahead of them before they even make their first step you have to be able to remember that you know you're going through a lot of different things and you're learning so much about yourself you know when you're at that point where you're peaking and you start having those emotional outbursts of tears just to be able to say this mess does showed me so much about myself that i i, I can't you know, I can't even fathom what what I'm thinking about right now because it's all over the place. And you start looking because I see how my life was ripped to shreds. I see how, you know, my situation tore me apart. And I mean, it would be a healing process for like about a month or two. And next, you know, that mess will rip me open again. You know, it just because it was like you haven't got to the core of you yet. And I tell you, a lot of times we feel like our lives are falling apart. And it's just allowing you to get more acquainted to the person that, you, that was forgotten. And that's why you had to go through these different things in your life. Your life had to to get torn apart because we held on to things that was programmed. We held on to things that we that place doubt, hurt, pain, you know, uh, fear, limited beliefs, you know, toxic ha habits, patterns and ways. All these things is being ripped apart from us just for you to be able to get to the core self of your, you know, you're, you're that vessel that's very powerful, that's very nurturing. And, you know, and you had to be able to remember, remember that, you know, through your trials and tribulations that you uh, constantly have to face, you know, um, and you're learning through that. Because like I told y'all yesterday on my video, you really don't, you really can't approach something that, that is so profound within yourself just by a simple tap and saying hello. No, it has to just come in rude, you know, wrecking shop with you. They ain't even introducing itself. It's just going to come in and kick you straight dead in the chest and say you need to deal with it. You need to find yourself. And you'll be like, what, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> you know, I can't even breathe. You know, and it, it's like that. It really is like that because when you, you know, right now you're getting to that point where if you're in solitude right now, it's really showing you. Think of every angle, allowing yourself to broaden your, your, your insight of a picture of what is really taking place in your life right now. 
you know there's some something so much so powerful within your transition that they really want you to take notice in and it's like take notice in a way that you haven't been able to take notice before because you're clearing things before a lot of times when we're going through stuff and you'd be frustrated and you're really trying to understand they keep telling me I need to forgive they keep telling me I need to you know let go and I'm, I'm really trying to allow myself to do that and you know could be so many different things they're telling you what is in your way they're using corrective criticism and a lot of times that mess could really just have you on a itch you know really quick like i'm tired of this i'm tired of this i'm tired of that but then when you're placed in isolation it's telling you you know and a lot of times you can hate being in isolation because the fact is that i'm tired of being alone i'm tired of doing this and it's like you need to be alone this is that time where you can only focus on yourself. Yes, you still have to do your light working duties, but you also have to stay solid with your boundaries of self-care. This self-care is allowing yourself to break away from people that just don't have nothing good good to do with your life. Connecting with that. You know, if it, nothing, you know, people don't have anything to lose. They have no problem with helping you lose your own. So you have to be able to be able, to, you know, to appreciate that. Even when, you know, things are just not going your way. And it, it just feels like the world is out there to get you. It's showing you how you got you. No matter what they're trying to get, you have you. God has you. Your ancestors, you know, your guides, you know, your family that has passed on. All these different things has gotten you. And, you know, but you had to be able to do that to find the source of that chaos that, that implemented clarity. You know, and you really have that within your life. And a lot of times we don't see that when we're going through all our different issues and when we're trying to grow and when we're trying to heal. Because that's not something that's easy to do. Because you have to show what part that you played in your own suffering. You know, what you choose to entertain, what you choose to, you overlook the truth to entertain illusion. You know, I, I've been there. I've been there. And, you know, get, get distracted real quick. And I'm like, hey. Get back to business because you know I got ADD and OCD. I will strike drift off real quick. Like, hey, get right back. Get get to what's relevant. Don't don't go there, but get back what's relevant. So there's a lot of different things that may be coming up, especially you know it could have been from like 10, 15 years ago. And like, man, I forgot about that. And it's just allowing you to observe it, but let it go with love instead. Of, you know, like, oh, you gonna say anything to yourself? No. <laughs> no, I appreciate what it taught me, and I'm allowing myself to release it. Bye bye now. Don't send a text message or any kind of postcard. I'm good, you know, and whatever. I don't care about your safety. You know, you want about your business. You know, tell that memory that I I'm good. It taught me so much about myself, and I love myself even more because it showed me how much I've grown. Because a lot of times we feel like our life has not changed, but it actually changed us in a profound way. So you're allowing yourself to really do that by appreciating everything that, that has came and gone into your life. You appreciate the different things that has taken place into your life that really has hurt you to make you such a better person. And these uh, these things are really helping you, but just telling you to be careful about what energy and entities is really trying to come back into your life and invest in your downfall. You know, you, you got so much growth that has taken place in your life. You really don't need to bring in something that was once a weakness that created strength within you. Because they always try to tell you, you have to be stronger than the weaknesses that's placed. You know, a lot of times we go on the, the you know, addictions and stuff like that. I know it was it was just something the other day that showed me, you know, how much I've changed. And it was just like, dang, you know, I remember at one time I used to fiend for stuff like this, you know, when things just got really heavy. And now I'm just like, I can be around it. And I'm like, oh, you want mm, I'm okay, I'm good. Oh, would that bother you? You know, because people, like, I used to tell people, oh, I used to smoke weed, but I don't do it no more. Oh, I'll stop. It, this ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm good. Now, I'll move away when I see, you know, it, I'm starting to get a contact. I ain't got time for all that. But, you know, I don't judge anybody else that chooses to do that. That, you know, whatever you do is your business. You know, I don't know what you're dealing with. I don't know what you're trying to, what pinnacles you're trying to reach to smoke that. They don't have nothing to do with me. But I'm talking about what I used to do that I no longer use, you know, no longer use or need in, in my life anymore. So it, it's just like you're, you're a walking testimony. Okay, you're really a walking testimony. And you have grown a lot. And for you to be going through all those different things and you can really see where you at where are you at at this point even if you're not exactly where you want to be at you are nowhere near the person that just started when you first started you know you have grown a lot you have picked up so much detail within your character of yourself 
and it's just showing you the whirlwind of change that has really been taking place in your life and how much you are a blessing. Even sometimes it's hard to feel that when you're going through so many different setbacks and heartaches in your life, but you truly are a walking blessing, not just to yourself, but so many other people that may be still struggling with the things that you you have once overcome, many have overcome, you know, and it, it's just the fact is when you open your mouth and you tell people, you know, hey, I, I've seen people that had to go through poverty in life and end up being the most successful person in the world that never dreamt of having a life like that where they have came from a household where they were not loved, they weren't nurtured, they weren't supported. And next thing you know, they, they started a, you know, a, a, a charity that probably goes from state to state on how to help people embody that self-confidence in their self about different things that they may have learned along the way through, you know, uh, childhood abuse or spousal abuse or, you know, just any kind of abuse like that. You just don't know what kind of walking testimony you can be from the changes you take place. A lot of times we try to understand how can I make my life meaningful? What kind of purpose can I bring out of, of a situation that was really effed up? And you just really don't know. At times, universe and God will place you in certain situations just because the fact is when you have over-encountered it, especially with, you know, with people that have been through a lot of, you know, uh, DV, there's, you know, and I tell people all the time, you know, when you have made it out of a situation like that, you are blessed already. You, you're blessing magnified because there's so many people that you hear every day that have lost their life to something like that. Or they, they got to that point where they're lost in their own world because they have been stripped down from any kind of humanity in their life because somebody stole that from them. That's an innocence that no every person should cherish because you're, you're, you're a human ex experience. And so I tell people, you just don't know how you're an inspiration towards somebody because you have overcome something that many people are scared to approach or people think that they can't heal from that or they can't get better from that. And for you to be able to, to move fo forward, you have earned so much beauty of blessings into your life. The devil will use anything and everything that once was a weakness to you to tear all that away. And you have to be able to allow yourself to know you invested too much in your time. You have gone through too much hell for you to welcome back that mess right back into your life like nothing ever happened. You know what your worth is, and it's like, if not, those choices is going to make you re recognize that. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. Uh, thank y'all so much for the beautiful comments I've been getting like, for the last, well, all, all the time. It's been really beautiful, so I appreciate all those comments that you're having, as well as the people subscribing to the channel. It's truly appreciated. I would love to give a post notification shout out. To Jesse Lee, much love to you. Uh, thank you for the, the comment the other day. I mean, yesterday. That was really funny. I, I love that. Um, and who else? Uh, Ava Wright, as well as um, Lauren Harrison and Val Stover. Much love to you as well. And thank you uh, so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated, y'all. Um, what also I was going to say, whatever your, your manifestation is, is that you are working on, trust and believe it's going to come so much bigger and better than you ever imagined. It's going to come sooner than you ever predicted. If you're going through some things right now, then it really makes you question your ability of your purpose. Don't allow that to do that. You, you playing right dead into the devil's hands. Don't do that because you got so much that you have worked hard for, you know, you've gone through a lot, even though it just feel like you're steady getting pulled back, you know, blessings aren't coming in. You know you're being tested and it's also strengthening you i know it's hard at times like to believe that like yeah whatever but you just really don't know you won't know if you give up you never understand what what could be waiting for you on the other side of that door that you may be just two knocks away from so don't allow yourself to give up in that matter um and please this weekend well shoot that's on a day-to-day -day basis be safe be responsible at everything you do. Um, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, wise frequencies. You just never know. All those things really take somebody a long way. And you even further. So you'll see me on my next video. Much love. Peace.